Hey y'all, so naturallycurly.com has sent me OSAT Natural products that um, I am to use and review. Um, and they sent them to me in this nice big box here. There's eight products and um, they all came securely wrapped in the box with like this kind of tape wrapped around the caps so the caps wouldn't break or shift in the box and spill. So I thought that was very nice. Um, the products that they sent me was the smoothing shampoo, the moisturizing co-wash, the natural oils moisture mist, they also sent me the deep moisture, deeper moisture mask. sent me the curling custard, the shaping jelly, and the form and hold wax. I'm sorry if it's not that clear looking at the um, product. But um, my, I smell everything, so my initial reaction and what really sticks out to me was the smell of the shampoo, which to me reminded me of like a nail or a hair salon, like nail polish or some type of perm or chemical. That's what the shampoo reminded me of. So I was kind of glad that this wasn't a styling or a leave-in product, but um, it's a shampoo and it basically did its job. <clears throat> um, every product on the back um, says that OSAT has 5-in-1 natural moisture blend. Olive oil for moisturizing the hair shaft and preventing damage, shea butter for conditioning, sunflower oil for shine, argan oil for anti-breakage, and tea tree oil for internal repair. So just about every bottle right here, it's not even clear, but just about every bottle says that. And it's no harsh chemicals, no sulfates, parabens, phosphates, synthetic fragrances, or plaphates. P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S. So none of that. And um, they're all natural. Well, not all natural, but none of them have the drying ingredients in them. Okay. So the first go around, I um, decided what I was going to do. Um, I decided that I was going to do a twist out because I do twist outs all the time. So what better to try these products on than a hairstyle that I do? all the time. Um, that way I can see if it works very well. Before I get into the, the style and how I did that, I just wanted to show you guys the texture of all of them. So this is the shampoo. And the shampoo itself, if you can see here, has a creamy texture to it. So you see here it's kind of sticky but it's um, pretty good. You know, a regular shampoo. The co-wash is thicker. Kind of reminds me of like a lotion, but it's also very thin and slippery. The shampoo is actually a lot thicker than that. So the co-wash looks like it's um, thicker, you know, consistency, but um, it's not. It's very, it has a lot of slip to it. Then there's the moisture mist, which I like because if you can see here, there's an unlock and a lock type thing on there to so that um, you can lock the product so that there isn't any like spillage or anything like that when you're not using it. So um, what I did with the oil at first I applied it directly to my hair by spraying it but then it felt my hair felt greasy so I started spraying it right to my hand as you can see there and I would rub it in to my hair that way and that way I had control over how much oil that I put on my hair and it had a very pleasant sweet smell to it the um, lotion that I use as a leave-in like that so it had a fairly it looks very thick but it's very very thin and watery it's a moisturizer that's what it's supposed to be 
You can see that there. So, and then there's the deep moisture mask, which is it right here. No particular smell to it. It smells like, you know, a hair product, but nothing too fancy. And as you can see, I used a good amount of it. There. And the consistency of it is thick. But it's also, um, you know, watery enough for you to detangle, more so finger detangle than anything. I um, couldn't quite detangle, you know, with a comb. It was easier for me to detangle with my hands using the deep moisture mask. The, uh, let's see, curling custard is very, it's, it's, um, I can't quite tip it on because it it's it has um it's not as thick as the mask. So it's like a lotion. Just it's very similar to a lotion, so and it's very watery as well. So that's the curling custard. And I'm glad I brought enough napkins because I knew I was gonna be doing this. And then there is the shaping jelly. Which has a nice sweet smell to it. But it's just, I'm not even going to put my finger in it because it's literally just like jam. And, um, and the hold and the form, form and hold racks the same way. Okay, you can see it there. It smells like a scented candle to me. And it's very, like, Thick. It's like you're holding literally wax, like a thinner version of wax. So um, that's that. That's the texture of all the products. Now, when what I look for in the product because I live in Florida, so it's hot and humid, especially now in June. And so what I look like, what I look for in products in Florida is something that's going to keep my hair moisturized for at least three days. Um, something that's, um, that's going to keep hold. So I do like to use gels and, um, so I did use the shaping jelly for hold. Um, something that's going to keep definition. So I look for that as well. And something that's going to keep my hair feeling soft. Now, it's humid outside. I cannot, um, avoid that. So if my hair does soak up any type of, of water in the air I, and it does get bigger I still would like the hold to be there and the moisture to be there so I was happy when I seen that glycerin was like um, and some of the products was like the second um, ingredient on here so like the lotion has water and then glycerin in there so that I was pleased to see that for an ingredient um, before I started styling my hair now let's fast forward to me styling my hair um, I had, first thing I did was I used the shampoo, the um, deep moisture mask, and then I rinsed that out. I added in the lotion, oops, I added in the lotion, and then behind the lotion I put in my um, the moisturizing oils to seal, and then after that I put in the curling custard and then the shaping jelly. Um, immediately... Uh, when I used the shampoo, the shampoo was fine. I followed the directions. The, um, the, what do you call it? The conditioner, the deeper moisture mask, I used that. It seemed to be fine. Um, I had to finger detangle instead of, um, doing a, uh, using a comb. Now, my detangling process did take longer than normal. Um, not as long but I'm at the point where it doesn't take much to detangle my hair anymore so when I have to take a little bit longer I kind of like okay what's what's up what is this product doing to my hair but I put it in sat under the dryer and I rinsed it out my hair felt light and fluffy and then after that I immediately applied the lotion and as soon as I put in the lotion I can feel the texture of my hair just totally changed. It felt rough. Um, something about this lotion my hair did not like. And I couldn't figure it out because um, 
I'm looking at the ingredients, I thought everything, you know, was pretty much good. But I just keep styling to see how it goes. So after the curling custard, I mean, after the lotion, I put in the oils, I spray it directly to my hair. I realized after a while that this gave my hair a really greasy feeling. So the second go around, um, I sprayed it on my hands so I can have control over, you know, how much uh, oil is going in my hair. And then um, after I applied the oil, I applied the curling custard, and behind that I applied the jelly for hold. Now, um, I let it air dry. And okay, so um, I just wanted to give my initial reaction to the takedown of my hair um, using the OSAT Natural products. And, um, well, first of all, my tails are showing. I call them my tails because they're longer than the others. Um, depending on what products I use, uh, these actually blend fairly well. They just shrink right on up with the rest of it. So the OSAT Natural products do not do that. Hence, I have one of these things going on in the back of in the back of my head, and to a certain extent, that's not cool. It makes me want to cut them. But uh, besides that, um, my hair. It feels kind of crunchy. Um, it's not like hard crunchy, but it's kind of like dry crunchy, even though it's not dry. Um, my frizzies are not at bay, if you can see that here. Um, they usually do lay down in the other random products that I use, uh, because when I do my twist outs, I um, use like other products that aren't of the same line and it kind of does the job in laying down these frizzies um, and as we can see here there's like a halo of frizz over my hair on the first day of takedown um, and I kind of could tell that that was already going to happen because while my hair was drying yesterday I could see it forming and actually I was putting in my twists and I can see it forming um, so that's that my ends feel very rough um, and what I'm gonna do is do a dusting of my hair and see if that changes it so I wouldn't quite acquit it to the product I'm just saying the product didn't help smooth products aren't them out. bad at all it's just um, what I don't like is kind of the feeling that it gives my hair um, it doesn't hurt the style that I usually have and I decided to do a wash and go I mean a twist out because that's what I have all the time so um, I'd rather rate it on something that I have all the time versus something that I don't normally do and this is the most honest way that I can give a review is with something that I usually but have. by the end of the day I was outside for a few by the end of the day my hair was um, very 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 dry I spent a little bit of time outside, and I live in Florida, so it is humid. It wasn't like horribly humid, but it was humid. And this is my hair now. It's, um, can't really see it on camera, but it's frizzy. And, um, let's see. There we go. That's about how everything is all the way around. And it is feeling very dry. And some places the definition is gone completely. And it just kind of... That's basically how my hair is. So I'm a little disappointed. Um, the humidity, for the most part, did ruin my hair other products that I do use um, are able to hold up a little bit better with humi humidity so I'm a little disappointed with that I've never really had to retwist my twist within the first night even with humidity but I have to hair I'm definitely gonna have to hair because my hair feels really sh dry and I haven't experienced this feeling in a long time so um, what I'm going to do 
is give another go. I'm going to continue to use the OSAT products to moisturize and seal my hair tonight. And I am just going to keep trying for a couple more days to see if anything gets any better. Um, and then a couple days from now, I'm going to co-wash. So just keep watching and I'll let you know the results. That's by the end of the day. And usually the products I normally use, um, even though the humidity may attack it a little bit, the hold, the um, moisture, and the form of my hair is pretty much still there. It may be more frizzy or a little bit bigger, but I don't mind that. But this time around, my hair was extremely dry. Okay, this is next day hair. Um, today is Friday the 13th. And once again, I did my hair on Wednesday and I had to retwist. I took the twist out Thursday morning and had to retwist my hair Thursday night. And um, one thing I did differently when retwisting my hair is something I didn't want to do because I want to fully review these items um, alone. But I did add shea butter because I realized that um, after I seen how dry my hair was, despite the humidity, I went through my products and I looked at them again really good and I noticed that none of them are really real sealants so I didn't have anything to seal the moisture in my hair properly so what I did is I replaced the curling custard with um, shea butter so I took out my hair this morning and it is now like uh, almost six o'clock this evening I did run out real quick and Yes, I live in Florida, once again, so it's hot and humid outside, so I ran out real quick to run some errands. I wasn't outside for a long period, extended periods of time, but as hot as it is, it doesn't take much. My hair, um, it still has a little bit a halo of frizz, but it doesn't bother me, um, because one thing that does is improving in the texture or the feeling of my hair is it does feel more moisturized than yesterday and I do believe that that's attributed to the shea butter. So this is it and another thing I didn't mention was that I do like the volume that um, the product does give off but I do also once again think that's because of the lack of moisture. My hair tends to swell bigger when it's dry but I do like the volume that it does give off. Um, usually I don't get this until second or third day hair. So, and this is, um, well this is the second day, but on the first day it was big as well. So I do like the volume. Um, this is, I'll give you a go around of my hair. This is it. There's some clumps maybe that hasn't been separated properly. And this is second day hair. Um, I do have to go out again today, bringing baby girls to the park. Let her run off some energy before she goes to sleep tonight. So we'll see how my curls hold up once again. Um, but I just wanted to come on real quick and show you the results. And this is it. Now, there are still some dry patches. It's not completely like moisturized, but it's way better than it was yesterday. Way better so far. So, just keep watching. End of the night, it was up in a bun. I couldn't take it anymore. It was very dry and crunchy feeling, and I did not like it at all. So, um, I could not redo my hair that night. So, I just, it gave me an opportunity to use the hold wax. So, the next day, I just put my hair up in a ponytail, and I slicked it down with the form and hold wax. The form and hold wax did its job, and I also it was also a bonus that um, it smelled really good. So it had my hair nice, my edges nice and slick, nice and wavy, and it looked really nice on my head, and it held all day. So I was very glad about that. Um, the next time I washed my hair was, um, let's see, uh, about two days ago. Uh, today is the 17th, so I washed my hair, I believe, Sunday night, today is a Tuesday, and I used the co-wash. The co-wash did its job as it is, a co-wash, and um, it was, um, it allowed me, it had a, plenty of slip, it didn't dry out my hair at all, 
Um, so it was very good as a co-wash. But this time around, I added the products that I used to use and still do use because I didn't want to have to go through dry hair all over again. I don't do my hair every day, and I'm not going to keep doing my hair every day. So my hair is just currently in these small twists right here because I um, wanted to... Uh, dust my ends and I dust my ends by twisting my hair up and then untwisting them when they're dry and just clipping the ends of them but that's neither here nor there so um if we backtrack a little bit I received these products on the 9th um which was a Monday uh so over a week ago a little over a week ago I washed my hair on Wednesday and I had to redo my hair. Uh, I took it out on Thursday morning, retwist my hair Thursday night, took it out Friday morning, retwist my hair Friday night, and I just basically gave up after that, stuck it in a ponytail on Saturday, and um, washed my hair on Sunday, and, and, and basically this is currently my style for the past two days. So um, that is my take on the OSAC natural products if I was to give it a rating on the scale of 1 through 10 I'd give it a 5 because out of these 8 products 4 of them I would still continue to use like the co-wash, the form and hold wax, the shaping jelly and the oil. That's um, basically all I pretty much use but um, the other ones they don't exactly react nicely to my hair so I wouldn't want to use them again because I'm just not with doing my hair every night and with the dryness that's my hair I know my hair is pot it's capable of holding moisture with the right products and these don't seem to be the right products for me so that's my take on these products um, OSAT natural and um, I hope it was very helpful to you and I hope if you have these products that they work wonderful for you I was really excited um, and pleased to be able to use them and review them the downfall is I wish that all of the products really did work for me so um, until next time everyone I will see you all later bye